Over the past decade, we as a diocese have embraced one of Bishop Greg's pillars of welcoming in our neighbors, being missionaries in our own communities, and turning stranger into friend. Our diocese is going through revolutionary change as new neighbors move in, language groups change, and our churches are encountering individuals that have never walked in through the doors. In our neighborhoods, we have two neighbors, those that need to know Jesus and those who already know Jesus and need to be sustained by him. Many in our community come from communities that are already Christian. They already believe in Jesus and they have a rich tapestry of culture, rhythms and languages, and different norms in their churches. I am very appreciative to Bishop Greg's ministry among us as Bishop. From the very beginning, he has acknowledged those of us who are different as one of Christ's own. He's pushed against the idea that we have to conform ourselves to the culture in order to be accepted as brothers and sisters in our local churches. And he's challenged those of us that come from diverse backgrounds to embrace our own backgrounds and serve others in a culturally appropriate manner that not only honors Christ, but honors the dignity of all our neighbors and members of our community. Bishop Greg, I am thankful to you for how you've emboldened our communities, how you've empowered our ministers and our priests and our deacons to go forth and do the work God has given us to do. And I am hopeful that you have left behind a legacy, a legacy of embrace, a legacy of acceptance, a legacy of ministering to the whole body of Christ. And I am grateful that our next bishop is inheriting this legacy. And I look forward to seeing it prosper over the next few decades.